So for everyone, it's so much in Derby for Life. I'm here gonna do update number two on the fish house. I currently um, got the thing stripped all the way down to the frame. Uh, if you saw in the last video, I uh, was starting on it. And then at the end of the video, you saw the plans for the fish house. Uh, those aren't the definite plans, but those are gonna be pretty, pretty close to what it's gonna be. So, uh, coming along on here, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what I did to get to this point uh, for starting the build. So, what I did was, is I, once I got it down to bare frame, I took a wire, wire brush, which I don't remember exactly where I set that. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I just had it. I know I just saw it too. Where did I put it? Um, well, let's see. Let me look in here quick. Well, anyways, um, I took a wire wheel, which would go on the grinder. It's like a, it's a wire brush. And I went over the whole entire frame, uh, knocked off the dirt, uh, and rust and all the other junk that doesn't need to be on there and then i painted over it i put uh rust-oleum black paint um i got mine at menards uh for a small can which i don't even know how how much is in it like one of those small cans right there i bought for like six bucks and that's gonna help um keeping the frame from rusting again uh because i tore you can see there, I tore the uh, old liner off. It is very rusty. Um, I'm actually going to put that back on because that's going to help hold the foam, which is going to go on top of that. It's going to hold, help hold the foam for quite a while. Um, but once you got it down to the frame, I do recommend painting over it or cleaning it up, paint over it. It's going to help help uh, keep salt off and other stuff throughout the winter uh it's very easy to do uh, it's just time consuming that's the only thing uh, i spent two days doing this uh for cleaning up the frame painting i did uh two coats uh, i had enough in the can to do about two coats and i did i went over it once or i wired brushed and then went over it once and then let it dry and then went over a second time. Uh, I don't know. It's not quite all cured up, but it's going to be good enough. I can always touch up. I can go buy some more and touch up on it again eventually. But I kind of wanted to make it all uniform, one, kind of one color, make it look presentable to my eyes anyway. And yeah, so now that that process is done, I'm ready to uh, start building. So the plan is for today is um, I'm going to take, I'm going to get that old rust or uh, it's sheet metal. I'm going to put that back on top of the frame and then the styrofoam is going to go on top of that. And then that is going to, or the plywood is going to go on top of that. And then once that's all screwed down and taken care of, the uh, plastic is going to go all the way over on top of that, which that stuff is going to, I don't want it to just be plywood inside. I want that to be uh, down because it, it's, it's rubberized. So if it gets wet, it will dry. You can always uh, dry it up and stuff. I know it's treated plywood and if it get, treated plywood gets wet, it doesn't really matter. But I want the rubberized stuff to help keep water off and kind of because once it dries, then you can got some cushioning to walk on. It's not just hard plywood. And then also, uh, it just makes it look nicer too. Um, you guys will see. I'll do kind of a before and after of before I put that on and after I or I'll put the plywood on, do a video or show it, and then I'll put that on. And that will show it up. So, but, um, 
yeah, the, the frame looks pretty good. I was actually expecting a lot more rust. I did find a little bit of damage right here on the frame. That's not gonna bother me nothing. Um, I got it painted over, so if it would rust, or if it was, if the paint was all flaked off and it was bare metal and it was starting to rust, I, I took care of that right away, so now it shouldn't be damaged. Oh, it's got some snowmobilers. It's a beautiful day out for that, so should be interesting to see how many people are going to be out. I mean, here comes another. Lots of people. I think that's the number 15 or 16 today. But, um, so, uh, what, I was going to say something else. I can't remember exactly. Um, oh. Oh, so some other stuff I did too, before I, I put the plywood and stuff down, is all the old propane lines that came to the back for the heater that was back here, and the fridge, and then there was an, another outlet for, uh, um, what was it? It was for, oh, it was like an excess like uh, propane thing for like an outside grill. And I took all that back all the way off to back here. There was some, uh, like the propane uh, tank was there. Uh, some, this plastic doohickey here was there. And then uh, another box, which I broke off. I kind of, I'm not going to use it. So I decided to break it off and get rid of it. Um, and then I'm going to make a platform here for two propane tanks, which... I think will work out very nice. But yeah, um so I took that all the way back just to, uh just to get rid of it and then also I saved it so that way I can run it back in to where I'm going to run the heater, which I'm planning on putting a bunk here if you saw in the last video and then the heater is going to go underneath the bunk. So I think I'm going to put it in the middle, or not quite in the middle, maybe on this side, and then I'll run my lines to it in, from the outside in, and I won't need as much of the propane lines that I took off, but it's nice to save it just in case. You never know how much you're going to need, because um, it came with some like 90s, and this should all work with each other, hopefully. Hopefully I won't have to buy any fittings, so that's going to save me some money there. And then, uh, I don't really know anything else. Um, I took, there's wires that ran back to here, which I brought all the way back to here. And then I'm just going to run it straight up inside underneath the bunk. And then all my wiring and everything will be underneath and taken care of. I won't have to really do any wiring other than the back lights. I might have to uh, cut the old lights and then run new um the wires up through the inside and make them longer and stuff but that won't be done until i actually start framing so shouldn't be too worried but there you go guys there's a uh, a video of the next step on to, on the fish house build um i did have someone say in the last video if i wanted to buy theirs you should have got to me sooner um, I already bought the stuff and I want to, I kind of want to do it myself and build, uh, build my own because I think this is going to be a fun experience and this is something I'm going to have for the rest of my life. Um, oh well, but thanks for the offer though. I appreciate it, but thank you guys for watching all my videos. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you are new to the channel. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.